Hello and welcome to the Pharmacy Informatics Professor 2020 with your host Armin Simonian. Today in this second episode I would like to cover a definition of pharmacy informatics and I'll begin with the elevator speech or elevator pitch. I'm in an elevator and somebody asks, hey what do you do for a living? And I respond, I'm a pharmacy informaticist. Oh really? What is that? Well I am a pharmacist and I specialize in pharmacy computer systems. I know the language of pharmacy and I also know the language of information technology. So I can be an advocate, a go-between, a translator between the pharmacy department and the IT department to make sure that the pharmacist has all the best tools available in terms of information technology and automation to provide the optimum drug therapy for our patients. For example, on our electronic health records, I want to work with the IT department and our electronic health records vendor to make sure that our system has the intelligence to help us screen for drug allergies, drug-drug interactions, and doses when a new drug is prescribed on a patient. I also want to implement automation such as the automated dispensing cabinet, which essentially is a drug ATM where we provide medications on the nursing floor so the nurse can get the medication and administer to the patient without having to wait for the drug to be delivered from pharmacy. So in a nutshell, that's what I do as a pharmacy informaticist. Once you're able to do an elevator pitch on pharmacy informatics, then you will know that you have a good definition of what pharmacy informatics is all about. So that was the intro, and now what I'd like to do is get into some formal definitions to kind of dial in a little bit deeper on pharmacy informatics. So I've put together this PowerPoint presentation, and I'd like to quickly go through this to talk about definitions, and in general say that pharmacy informatics is a relatively new specialty within pharmacy practice, and it's for the pharmacist who has a passion for computers and has some creativity and innovation and entrepreneurism that can be applied to uh, information technology, um, applied to the medication use process so that we are more efficient in the pharmacy department and provide better therapies. And I will say that a lot of pharmacy students and pharmacists out there have a difficult time really defining pharmacy informatics, and that's why I want to go through this presentation today. So in general, what is informatics? It's the use of computers to manage data and information. And here's another definition from the medical dictionary talking about information and ways to process and handle it uh, in terms of IT, information technology. You'll hear these terms data, information, knowledge, and in future broadcasts, wisdom. So um, you'll hear a lot today in these definitions about data and information, which is data with meaning and purpose, and then knowledge where we add a little bit of expert opinion to that. In general, medical informatics is also known as health informatics, healthcare informatics, biomedical informatics, you'll hear HIT, health information technology. And I bring this up because pharmacy informatics is really a subset of health informatics. And here's a definition, I won't read through these. You can pause the video and read these if you'd like, but I just wanna put these up for completeness. And here's another definition. This is from uh, American Medical Informatics, Association AMIA. Okay. And very simply, here's a definition from an article in JAMA that says the science that uses information to improve healthcare. So this is informatics in healthcare. Bioinformatics is a subset of healthcare informatics. And this is the science that's really focused in on the human genome and studying the big data related to pharmacogenomics. Okay. 
So it's really all about the 3 billion chemical pairs that make up the human genome and studying them. Okay, different from pharmacy informatics. And here is a subset of bioinformatics. And here we're getting into pharmacogenomics and personalized medicine. So let's specifically get into pharmacy informatics. Here's a definition from health, the Healthcare Information and Management System Society, HIMSS. And they say that this is a scientific field that focuses on medication-related data and knowledge within the continuum of healthcare systems. So medication-related data and knowledge. And we're talking about getting that knowledge and data, storing it, analyzing it, and using it in the delivery of optimal medication-related patient care and health outcomes. So this is... IT related to medication use, and we're doing this so that we improve patient outcomes. Here's another definition. This is from American Society of Health System Pharmacists, ASHP, and they define pharmacy informatics as the use and integration of data, information, knowledge, and technology, and automation in the medication use process for the purpose of improving health outcomes. So a similar definition as HIMSS, we're talking about data, information, and knowledge related to medications, automation, robots, machines, and we apply these to the medication use process, and our goal is to improve health outcomes for our patients. Now, pharmacists must use their knowledge of information systems and the medication use process to improve patient care by ensuring that new technologies lead to safer and more effective medication use. So we want to make the pharmacy department, the pharmacists, more efficient in their work. And that's going to lead to safer medication use and more effective medication use. So let's talk about this medication use process. What's that all about? It's really about the life cycle of a prescription or medication order. It starts with prescribing, documenting, dispensing, and then administering and monitoring. If I broaden that a little bit and include inventory control, we have inventory control, ordering, dispensing, delivery, administration, and monitoring. So within each of these categories, you see that we've applied different technologies such as barcode scanning for ordering um, using shelf tags and then receiving medications and storing them in our automation devices, um, electronic ordering within uh, the acute care and the retail setting, clinical decision support that supports that electronic prescribing, and then we have dispensing machines and robots that can make IVs. We have robots that can walk around and deliver medications. And we have uh, things such as smart pumps and barcode medication administration at the bedside where we assure the five rights before giving a medication. And then we have ways of monitoring the patient with reports and analytics and even um, devices for self-monitoring. So to kind of give a summary overview, we're talking about informatics, which is about people, information, and technology. Okay? And then when we start getting into patients, we talk about patients, information, and technology, we're getting into biomedical and health informatics. An offshoot of this is bioinformatics, where we talk about cellular and molecular informatics, and that's where we were talking about the human genome. If we get into clinical informatics, this is where we're caring for our patients. And you see we have nursing, we have medical informatics, consumer informatics, and this is where pharmacy informatics lives in this continuum. So we are a subset of biomedical or health informatics. And to differentiate, I'll just point out that we're not the same as the bioinformatics and pharmacy informatics is not the same 
as a drug information pharmacist. Let's do a case just to kind of emphasize this point. So we have clopidogrel, Plavix, and this is a drug that requires biotransformation before it's active. <clears throat> the bioinformaticist is interested in studying the human genome and figuring out how this occurs on a genetic basis. The drug information pharmacist is going to use that information, that research that's done by the bioinformaticist, and when asked a question about screening for the patient that's going to receive clopidogrel, they'll be able to do further research and provide an answer to the prescriber uh, about that drug information question. Now, what is the pharmacy informaticist interested in doing? Pharmacy informaticist is responsible for building that drug within the electronic health record formulary. And that involves possibly adding a standard comment that pops up every time that drug is ordered saying, hey, you might wanna do screening on this patient. And then we wanna work with the EMR vendor, the electronic health record vendor to install maybe a info button or a drug information link where the prescriber during order entry can actually click on that link and get more information on the spot. We also want to work with our lab system to make sure that when this genetic testing, the screening is being done, that those results get reported in a way that's usable and recognizable by the system. And then we can take the next step of writing an expert rule so that every time clopidogrel is ordered, the computer can check to see if genetic screening has been done. And if the patient is a non-metabolizer, then pop up a warning for the prescriber saying that, hey, this drug is not gonna work in this patient. So I hope you, that gives you an idea of kind of the difference that we're talking about between bioinformatics, drug information, and pharmacy informatics because often people will confuse those titles. The other thing I'll point out is that the pharmacy informaticist is more of an administrator than a programmer. So you don't need to know programming language and be a programmer to be a pharmacy informaticist. But you should know programming principles. You're gonna be in charge of very large pro projects implementing very expensive products. These often are multi-million dollar installations. And you need to be able to communicate with the vendor, with the IT department, with your pharmacy department, and um, other interested parties to oversee these implementations. So you have to know about project management, and you also have to know about product life cycles. Okay. With project management, you need to be aware of some of the principles and basically the bottom line with project management is as an administrator, you wanna be able to deliver a quality product within the scope of what you promised would be done on time and within budget. And then in terms of life cycle products, as you know, have life cycles, they're a great idea, they get implemented, they're enhanced, updated, and maintained, and eventually might become obsolete and you move on to a different product. So the pharmacy informaticist has to know about all of these phases and be able not only to implement and update and maintain systems, but also sunset or retire those systems when they become obsolete. So with that, I will challenge you now to take these definitions, think about them, get to know what pharmacy informatics is all about, and maybe make your own elevator speech describing pharmacy informatics in your own words. If you can do that, then I will know that you have a good idea that you can provide someone with a definition of pharmacy informatics. <clears throat>